Hello, glorious abandoned railroad that's not really abandoned because a train just went over it. Waterfall, waterfall, waterfall thing. How the hell are you today? Last time I saw you, you were covered in snow and all the plants were dead. But today you are green and lush and you look like you're full of life. The water's clear and the water is not too high. And uh, hopefully the big fish are still here. Let's do this thing. Uh, pow. What is going on, you dirty old stash road truckers? Just kind of came up with that one on my own a little bit ago and nobody really commented, but I thought it was kind of funny and there's uh, trains and trucks and all sorts of stuff driving over the top of me, so it just made sense. But anyway, we're at the uh, the small creek that uh, has these waterfalls. Shout out to Dillon for telling me about it, but basically, I fished the Big Creek, three different spots. The Schmedium Creek, one spot. Uh, yesterday, Boo and I fished the Big River, and all of that sucked. So uh, yeah, the water at all those places was high. The water is not high here. The water is clean. The water was dirty at those places. So in my tiny little brain, I'm thinking that maybe this will be a little bit better. With that being said, it's a pretty tiny spot. Not much room for big fish, but in the past, there has been big fish, and there has been a lot of species. Worst case scenario, the spot down the way we can try to to finish this up but hopefully we don't have to because i'd rather just finish it up here but uh yeah we're basically just going to be taking one rod i think just kind of poking around and see what we can't pick off i haven't fished it since the winter so uh yeah i don't know what's really here and i just hope there's something big but one big fish hopefully and if we get more then awesome we've got more in the past so we'll see but uh yeah come along with me let's do this thing Puh. Pow. Alrighty, backpack, you're for sure coming with. We need you. You are also coming with, and I think the Stratic's gonna just kind of be left behind. Need to kind of hide it though, but once I got down here and remembered how small this spot was, I was like, I don't need two rods, but I'm also not gonna walk it all the way back to my truck, so we'll just kind of tuck her away up here. Hopefully, we don't forget it, but holy shit, there's a giant, multiple giant carps right there. That's bigger than any fish we've ever caught here. There's two of them. Oh, bud. Carp's not the most desirable thing ever, but boy, oh boy, we will in fact take it. And they're like 10 plus pounders, and there's like five of them. How are we gonna do this? Oh, shit, I think I scared one. Well, it's not like they can go far, so. We just have to be as stealthy as possible. And, uh, sorry, you guys are kind of pointed down. Hopefully we can get one of these boogers, because this could be fun. Yeah, those are bigger fish than we've ever caught here. I need to, uh, did you guys see that? Oh, bad. If we can catch one of these, it'll already be better than all the other places. Don't get snagged. Shit balls. Okay, my knot held up, good. Kinda wanted to switch anyway from the jig head. We're gonna go with weightless corn, see if we can get it in front of one of their faces. They might be spawning though, so we might not get one, but. The fact that there's that big a fish sitting right here, good sign. Might be channels, might be drum fish, might be other stuff, but yeah. There's at least those guys. So let's try to catch one. All right, I'm gonna start cutting some stuff out. This is probably gonna go on for a while. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to catch one of these and then still got like four more waterfalls. So we'll see if we can make something happen. Sign of life though, right off the bat, big fish sitting in this little tiny pool, so I'm pretty stoked. Now we just gotta uh, make it happen. There's a damn, is that a mirror? I think there's a mirror carp over there. That definitely appeared to be a mirror carp. We want that one. Oh, one had it. I wasn't paying attention. I felt the tug and set the hook a little premature, I believe. And by believe, I mean I did, but one ate, so it's a good sign. Kind of an awkward spot to set the hook. Oh, another one has it. Got one. Got one. Giant! <laughs> oh, shit. Giant one. Giant. Oh, shit. He's around a rock. No more stealth boat now. We got one hooked. Weightless corn. Waterfall spilling way. Biggest fish from here ever. If we can land it. It's just such a tiny spot. Tiny, tiny spot. I have no idea how we're going to get this dude in, but... We got him hooked, so that's most of the battle. He's also muddying up our water, which ain't good, but we're probably going to move on to catfish and other stuff after this. We shall see. Right now, we just need to make sure we don't break him off. we we'll try to climb down here and get his ass. I mean, it's like a six or seven pounder, or at least a five. For this tiny spot, that's pretty epic. <gasps> no. 
My hook popped out. That's all right. Is it though? Yeah, that's all right. I wasn't really sure how I was going to grab him. I was going to climb down into this, but that looks pretty deep. So I guess that works out. I was using a little bit smaller of a hook than normal. That could probably be part of it, I would expect. But And this hook's kind of dull. So I'm going to switch this hook, try to get one more. But we're going to mainly keep exploring. The next pool down is definitely the best one. I haven't really caught much up in this pool. So that was kind of just a bonus. Still going to try to actually get my hands on one, but yeah. Switching this hook, going for another, and then we're moving on. I think I saw a mirror down there. I really want to try to get him, or at least just another one in general. Go try in front of the waterfall. Oh no, I just scared one. They're back in this pool. And they don't seem spooked. Got one. Stuck on something though. Oh, nope, got his ass. Still gonna be almost impossible to land, but we got another one. <laughs> Look at that thing just explode in there. Such a small spot. And they just came right back in and ate it. Are they spawning or something? I guess if they were spawning, they probably wouldn't be eating, huh? They're definitely doing something up in here though, and I'd imagine they got pushed up in here when the water was high. At one point, this spot, the water was high just like everywhere else. It just calmed down a little faster. Just a little one. But that Hold please, noisy train coming by. That was really quick though. Most of the time when I hook a carp in a small spot like this, they shut off for a while, like 15 minutes or longer. But that thing hit the water and got ate pretty much. All right, bud, get you over that thing. We got ourselves a little carp pool. Oh shit, there's a snake coming at me. Snake bud. Oh no, where'd he go? I don't like you, Snakey. Get away. Gonna have to keep an eye on that booger. All right. Don't really like gilling him, but I've been dicking him with him for a while, and it just had to be done. So, cool. Carp fish. Little railroad waterfall puddle thing. Can't be more than a foot deep, and there's like 15 of these plus a mirror sitting here. So, wasn't the plans, as I said, but we ain't just gonna walk past a bunch of carp in a small puddle. That's just not like us. He's kind of just in the pool right now, but he should pretty easily be able to get out over there. We'll kind of let him just relax here. And yeah, I don't know what we're doing next, but I think I'm still gonna try to catch that mirror and then eventually I swear we're moving down. I swear. But for now we're getting more corn and doing that again, because that was fun. Wouldn't it be crazy if there's one in this pool? That'd be some crazy shit. Oh, there's some in this pool though. If we could sight fish this dude, that'd be badass. I just caught something else. Creek chub. I'm keeping him. He's gonna be catfish bait. Cool. I've only caught one creek chub on my channel ever. And it was here, so that's not really surprising, but it's that bud right there. That'll be for the second step of this adventure is trying to catch a catfish, because there's been some pretty big ones. One more carp and I promise we're switching gears. You know, I just can't say no to a good opportunity simple as that. I walk up to a spot that I rarely catch big fish at and I see a bunch of big fish, I'm going to catch them. But anyone that's been here for a long time knows that I don't really have to explain myself on that one. Where'd carp bud go? I mean, little tiny pool right there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. You guys see how small this pool is? This is insane. This is insane. I didn't even feel him bite it. I just kind of lift it up and there's tension. Like it's not even connected to that. I mean, he can swim in there, but he's kind of just trapped in this pool and he's giant. We'll put him back in the main current if we land him. It's a big if. He might even freaking jump into the main current, heading right for it. It's been a rough 24 hours as far as fishing goes, so. Probably sound like a broken record because I've said that a lot this year, but it's true. Holy shit, he just jumped the damn waterfall. Oh my God, he's going under the stick. Holy shit. I did not want him to do that. That could have been bad. That could have been bad.
Definitely bigger than the one we landed. I can tell you that for free. I know, bud, you're tough. <gasps> oh, I guess I deserve to get wet because I got you kind of dry, bud, but let me see ya. All right. Kind of looks mirrory, but he's not. He's just kind of beat up, but started in that little tiny pool up there. Swam under this stick back into the main pool. I think he could have swam into this main pool at will. I think he just liked being up in there. Are you guys covered in water? Nope, you just got my glasses. All right, as promised. We're going for catfish now. See you there. That was a little dicey. This is kind of like fish in a trout stream, except instead of trout, there's trash fish. But the water's clean, it's flowing rocks. It's just, just always thought this was a cool looking spot. Always liked it. Plus, I'd rather catch a carp than a trout actually any day of the week. Who's with me? I know trout are more desired. I mean, big trout are cool. I'd rather catch a big trout than a carp, but most places here in Nebraska just have them shitty little 10 inches. so I'd personally rather catch a carp. Hate me for it if you want, but it's true. This is gonna be probably a little bit more slow going, but we're gonna try weightless, try a bobber, maybe try a weight and see if we can't get a kitty cat or some sort of predator. Then we got a couple more down the way, so. This has been the best spot though. It seems like something might have it already, I can't really tell. Something's definitely nudging it. Seems small though, but definitely wasn't a carp eating a chub chunk. All right, we'll just kind of hang tight, hope for the best, and uh, yeah, go from there. So far, way better expected though. Way better than expected, however you say that, but that's all we catch. I wouldn't be pissed about it. <gasps> Is that a flathead? Was that a baby flathead? No way, had to be a bullhead, right? Kind of looked like a baby flathead though. Hmm, intriguing. Intriguing. Seems better. Not a baby flathead, definitely a bullhead. <laughs> it's just so crazy how spots and all these, I just like fishing creek spots and spillways. This shit just changes. Never caught a damn carp here before. Only caught one chub here before. Never caught a bullhead here before. I know they're all kind of shit bags, but I mean, it's just so different every time. I mean, lakes are different too. Each, each day is different, but ah, you ain't just taking a day to just go fish for some shit bag fish with a bag of corn, then you probably should. That's all I'm saying. Chub is getting mangled down there. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you probably should. I think I've convinced most of the diehards by now to at least try this random bullshit, but if you're new here, you should try it too. It's relaxing. I have a feeling though we blew our load early on this trip. I don't think it's gonna get much better than that, but we'll keep trying for a couple hours before you have to pick up Kate from school and I'll keep you posted if I get anything worth a chip. See you there. That was better. That's not a bullhead. That thing thumped the vagibus out of it. I don't know what it is, but it wasn't on the bottom. I was like lifting it. Drumfish! Hell yeah. I don't think I've ever caught a drumfish here. Nice. Decent one too. This was the spot for the day, boys and girls. Decisions were made over the past 24 hours that were not good. And while we're catching the normal smorgasbord of trash fish, I'll tell you what, it sure feels good. Yeah, I don't think he was coming off. He got that bass hook right to the dome. I knew if I kept the chub on long enough, I'd get something other than the tiny bullhead biting it. Actually, some of the bullheads were pretty big, but you know what I mean. I mean, I'm talking about hooked the shit out of this thing. He wasn't coming off unless he broke off. All righty, drumfish bud, thanks for playing. I don't, I've never caught a drumfish out of this pool. I'm not sure if I've ever caught a drumfish here actually, but uh, old Dillon, hey, there's a minnow. Old Dillon caught a damn giant drumfish here, so it's not too surprising, but first for me and stuff. To be honest with you, walking down to the next few spillways is kind of a pain in the ass and they usually suck. So I'm probably not gonna do that. We'll see though. We will see. We haven't been here very long though. And we're making shit happen. I couldn't be more stoked about it. Couldn't be more stoked. Probably back up and be a little more stealthy. 
Yeah, let's do that. All right, keep it rolling. See what else we can get and stuff. Thanks, pal, and stuff. Pal. Something big. <clears throat> Stuck though. I dropped it off the side right here. Oh, it's a channel. It's a big one. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna get it in though. Stuck on some sort of rebar down there. Got it. No. Broke me off. I was floating around in this little pool right here. It almost kind of looked like a blue cat, but it thumped the shit out of it. But as it was spiraling, it wrapped around something. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. It's like a three, four, five pound channel. It kind of looked like a blue cat, but it probably wasn't realistically. Hopefully you guys saw it flash at least. I got an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I got an idea. See you soon. Oh God. I moved down to the next pool and saw some big shapes and I thought they were carp and I still think there is some carp but that's another big drum fish on corn too what you doing drum bud you like corn you like corn You're bigger than the first one I came down here just to kind of dick around wasn't planning on uh, I was just planning on fishing for fun. It's not very often I get what I need to get accomplished early or done early. So I was just fishing just to fish, which is kind of rare these days, but drum fish number two. I floated the cup bait up by where the channel was for ever. And uh, I ended up getting a few more bullheads. Might have to come back for the old bullhead catch and cook. But the second I say that they disappear, but old gnarly drum bud going back. I'm gonna keep fishing with corn right here, but you guys get the damn point. So I'm gonna end this video and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, still got an hour to kill, so might as well keep fishing. And uh, yeah, you guys have seen all you need to see. And if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. This spot was the spot to be at today and maybe I'll bring Boo back or something like that. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you later and stuff. Pa-pow, bye.